Hello CG fans, in this video I will show you how you can use the subdivision surface modifier to create smooth rounded objects just like this vase. If you are looking forward to completing this tutorial, please consider subscribing and liking the video to help motivate me to make more awesome content like this for you to watch. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so as you can see I have my vase model here, but it is looking very blocky. So to round it out, we're going to go and add the subdivision surface modifier here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and shade smooth. So you can already see that's looking great. So I'm going to go over some of the settings, what's going on here. So firstly we have our panel of the view so we can enable and disable the view and like the render and the viewport etc. So here are our options so we can use Catmull Clark or we can use Simple. So Simple it just if we have a look all it does is it subdivides the mesh it doesn't actually smooth it so this is the same as if you were to right click and hit subdivide. Catmull Clark will actually smooth out the mesh so that will give you a better result if you're looking to smooth it. So the subdivision, so this is the amount of times we're going to subdivide it for viewport and render. So make sure you don't have it high in the viewport um, and then forget to turn it up for your render. So you want to make sure you are matching it. So all we need is two really, you would probably be just fine. Uh, so the quality is the accurate, here we can see it's the accuracy of vertex positions. So a lower value is faster but less precise. So normally you shouldn't have to touch this. Normally it's just fine uh, at 3. So we have the UV options as well. So sharp will just, it'll leave them as they are. And smooth keep corners. It'll smooth it out but the boundaries will remain sharp. And then so we have two more options here. We have use creases and optimal display. So optimal display, you probably also won't have to touch this. It's just uh, to do with the drawing and rendering of the interior subdivided edges, as it says here. And use creases is uh, if I was to go into edit mode, and I'm just going to select a random edge for display purposes. So if I was to hit Control E to bring up this menu, I could go and apply edge crease to it. So I just click one to make that max. And um, so that's whether this checkbox will say whether it's affected by the edge crease or not. So most of the time you can just leave that on and you should be all right. So I am going to change that back. So that is pretty much it. But I am going to go over one more thing. So this result is just fine here. But what if I had say a cylinder and I went and applied the subdivision surface modifier and you can see look at this it looks horrible so what's wrong here is it's it's smoothing it out so what we got to do is we got to tighten it so one of the ways you can do this is we can add some edge loops so I'm just gonna up the subdivisions and I'm going to hit Control R in edit mode. So we can click and if we bring this up then you'll see it starts to look more like the cylinder. But you want to be careful when doing this. You want to make sure that you don't overlap the edges. That is definitely not good. So you want to just leave a little bit of a gap there. And then we can do the same for the bottom. And this looking much better. And we can apply smooth shading. And uh, this is happening at the top because this top face is an end gone. Um, but you could like grid fill this if you want. But this is just for display purposes so I'm not going to fix that. Once again if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and liking the video for more quality content like this. And checking out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching CG Life and I will see you in the next tutorial.